Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kakadash. That is all praises to who the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Shem meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, preaching this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Taz Bond, the Great Millstone, the Arizona Camp, Lord Well, with another video to edify. And as you can see on the screen, I got an article here, and and and, and Esau, the so-called white man, and his agenda is falling apart because here it is. Um, it's saying the CDC releases study showing three fourths uh, Delta cases are among the 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 jab says mask mandate mask are are the answer. So how is three fourths of the people that got shot up getting sick with the new shit? When you Edomites, uh, these devils, uh, uh, officials, right? The trusted scientists said that you should be protected. That's seventy four percent. You give me somebody with seventy four percent odds that they're gonna get sick. Or 74% odds of anything that they'll end up losing a game. I'm going to bet against that person. It says, um, it's actually 75%, but in the article it says 74. It says, the CDC has released a study backing up its decision to recommend indoor masking for both jabbed and unjabbed Americans. The study, the study examined one outbreak and found three quarters of people testing positive were jabbed so three-fourths of the people that were testing positive were fully jabbed that means the one quarter 25 percent weren't so that 25 percent that weren't I, I if i if i was to be a betting man which group would i sit here and go into the jabbed or the unjabbed i'd probably go into the unjabbed because it, it sounds like i got a, a 75 more percent chance not to get fucked up it says the center, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC) revised its uh, revises mask guidelines on Tuesday, urging all Americans in areas with high CV um, transmission to mask up when indoors, regardless of jab status. It says it says mask mandates in companies, governments, doc, uh, government departments, and central local jurisdiction follow as CDC doctor Rochelle Walensky insisted that the decision was made on the back of the fresh scientific evidence right so this is evidence this isn't something that can just change it says the CDC released the evidence on Friday in a study of 469 cases of CV that broke out in the resort town of Cape Cod Massachusetts earlier this month 74% occupied and 74% um, occurred in fully jabbed persons. Four out of five patients hospitalized were fully jabbed. And on average, the inoculated had completed their two rounds of doses only 86 days before infection. The cases study occurred in people Jab primarily with Pfizer and Moderna shots it says with a small number having received Johnson and Johnson's one dose jab, no one, no one uh, was signaled was singled out as providing better or worse protection, and none prepared appeared to uh, to prevent symptoms um, from developing. <laughs> it says some ninety, some seventy nine percent of jab patients were symptomatic. The study noted. You see, so it sounds like this is going going bad now. Esau had a meltdown at the White House because they brought out these statistics and they didn't say it in a flavorful way for people to still get it. It says you're doing it wrong, White House. Uh, CV19 spokes, spokesman yells at media for quoting CDC document on Delta variant. It says, even as the quoted inter 
internal CDC documents backing the renewed mask mandate due to the rise in Delta variants uh, CV cases both in New York and in Washington Post got a tongue lashing from the White House. Jad people don't uh, do not transmit the disease at the same rate as unjab people. And if you fail to include uh, that context, you're doing it wrong. Of course they don't because it's showing that the, the jab people are, are getting the disease at a higher rate. At, 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 as far as that last article I read where it quoted the CDC's findings, saying that three, three out of every four people that had this new variant were either were were or were basically fully jabbed. You see, and I'm gonna put both of these articles in the description. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm simply reading reading news articles and giving my opinion on them. You know, now you know go into these scriptures because. You know, you people, you know, Esau Edom, man, he's, he's, uh, I go to Isaiah, Psalm 36 and 3. It says, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He had left off to be wise and to do good. He devised mischief upon his bed. He set it himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. And this is exactly what this is. The words of this devil's mouth are all iniquity and deceit. The fact that you're sitting there painting something to be super beneficial and for it to provide protection, why is it 74% of people are contracting it with the protection that you said you provided? Now, these are questions you got to ask. Now, nobody wants to answer these questions. And Esau uh, will cleverly pick out the most dumbest of fucking people to go on the news and pre uh, and present uh, the opposite argument that, that they're not even fully prepared to answer these questions. And this devil has an entire, you know, kill list for them, for those questions, man. To make him look stupid and make him look unprepared. And that's exactly what he does. Right? This is Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity upon their bed. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Salakia. When the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them away by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and it, a man and his house, even a man and his and his heritage. And this is what Esau's done, man. He's a devised iniquity upon his bed. You know, when you look at this entire schedule and what they've been promoting, it's not showing that it's actually working. It's not showing that it's actually being beneficial. <laughs> at least not beneficial enough for me to fucking bet on it or anybody else. This is um, Job 13 and 4. It says, um, But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. Because they're not actually providing care. They're not actually providing anything that's actually helping. Right? It's looking like they're providing something that's, 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 that's uh, detrimental. And this is in my own opinion. You know, I'm a man. Shit. Like they say, trust. <laughs> they tell you to trust the science, but then the science comes back showing you uh, that the science uh, isn't being very uh, beneficial, and then they penalize you and take down your pages and shit because you bring out that. You know this 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 devil is is diabolical, man. This is um. This is uh. Daniel's eight and twenty five. It says, and through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, right? And this this is part of his craft, man. Cunningness, deceit, right? This is part of that craft. It says, "The Magnus by himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many." And this is a form of peace because he's sitting there telling you to trust the science. This can help and save you. 
right? But look at what look at what his own fightings are coming out. You know, the scriptures tell you the Lord is going to cause his tongue to fall upon himself, and he's get, he's being revealed all by his own studies. It says, um, and by peace shall destroy many, and so uh, it says, uh. He also shall stand up and fight stand up against the prince of princes, but shall be broken without hand. You know? And I wanted to get this last one. The second Ezra. This ain't gonna be long. And it goes into uh how is it? Second Ezra sixteen and uh I'll start at 68. It says, Behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And, and this is the time that it's getting to, because they've been talking about we need to put people in a, in, in a car and take them to go get this shit. That's what uh, Cuomo said, right? You know, they're, they're, they're gearing up for it to be either you take it, or we got to put you away for a minute because you're a threat to society. It says, um, it feeds you being idle with things offered unto idols, talking about them concentration camps. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. And if you consent unto whatever these devils had to alter, offer, what happens next is on you. It's not going to be pretty, man. You can see the people that, that were consenting. You can see you can go online and find random videos of people saying, I got this, I got that, I got this one, I got that one. You know, now I can't stop shaking. You can see they're obviously in derision. You see? So, you know, just some information. You know, Lord willing, this information was ever fine. You know, brothers can go check this stuff out. You know? And um, that being said, I'm going to say call law. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Yahweh Kakadash Shalom